Hello there, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be ranking five new eyeshadow palettes. I will give you just some bullet point information on each one, including swatches. And then the reason why I have not finished my makeup is because I will create an eye look with my top favorite palette today. I didn't want to spoil the fun and spoil the mystery and go ahead and create the eye look because I want you, I want to keep you guessing. So we're going to jump right on in here. Now I'm going to give a disclaimer here. These are my opinions and these are rankings based on my preferences. Feel free to disagree, but I do feel like all five of these palettes have really really good quality shadows. There's just some slight differences and distinctions that for me personally kind of put them lower in the ranking. So number five is the Smashbox Always On Mood Board. And this is the color story called Cozy Vibes. Really don't have any cozy vibes today because it's 110 degrees out there but it's okay. I'm pretending that we need cozy vibes. And this color story is beautiful. It is very neutral, very fall inspired for sure. I will put up on the screen the swatches. And the quality of these shadows I think is even better than Smashbox eyeshadows used to be. It's less powdery, more creamy. The thing that put this in the fifth place for me are a couple of things. First of all, it's priced at $39 and you are getting eight eyeshadows. However, the packaging is all, it's a combination of cardboard and even just thick paper and plastic. It does have a click closure and a mirror, which I appreciate, but I really feel like Smashbox kind of went down a level in their packaging with this. Also, the color story, even though this is a light-ish shade, it's not light enough for me or anybody fairer if you need a brow bone highlight shade. So I need to pull in another palette just for that. And then also this shade, I like it, just wish that it was a little bit lighter for inner corner work. So I find that even though this is a good mix of colors that work well with each other, I still have to bring in another couple of shadows to create a full eye look. Coming in at number four is this Tartlet To Go Amazonian Clay Palette. This is relatively new. I've had this actually a couple of months. First of all, the packaging on this is gorgeous. I was not anticipating this. It is a really nice, heavy duty, weighty palette. It has a full length mirror here. I haven't taken the clear plastic thing off yet. There are six shadows in here and I personally love the color story. I'll pop up on the screen the swatches and I do feel like even though there's only two mattes, we get almost a full look within this palette. Having said that, we are missing a cream brow bone highlight shade, but I do overall, I think the color story in here is very interesting and gives you just some unique looks, although it's still kind of in the realm of being more of a neutral palette. Now, I have seen some reviews of this online saying that the shimmers were lacking. I personally have been using these lighter shimmer shades. I use a wet brush and they perform beautifully. But with six shadows, I know that's limiting. It's hard to get everything packed in here, but I do wish it was a little more maybe a one and done palette. But that aside, it's beautiful. And this retails for $29. So it's slightly less than the Smashbox. And I just personally love the color story, love the shimmer shades in here and think it's beautiful. Now coming in at number three, if you saw my video on this palette, you won't be surprised that this is in the middle of the pack and it is the Natasha Denona I Need a Warm Palette. If you've not seen my first video where I tried this on for the first time, I'll link it down below so you can see the look I created. Again, formulation on these shadows for the most part is really good. Now she's experimenting with some different unique formulations with some of her shimmer shades. And for whatever reason, I'm struggling with this new shimmer formula in getting it to transfer onto the eyes. I have to wet my brush and even then, I still feel like I have to go back and layer on to get the shimmer shades to show up like they do on a finger. On the finger, they look like they're gonna be really pigmented, but I'm struggling to get that to transfer onto the eyes. This palette comes in at the highest price, a whopping $69. 
And I think my biggest critique with this one is because I already own the gold palette, there are a couple of shades in here that are almost exactly the same shade. And so I feel like because I already own the gold, this isn't different enough to warrant having them both. I feel like she just took the gold palette and turned the dial one notch towards the orange level and said, okay, here's our new palette. That aside, it does have some beautiful shades in here, but just wishing for a little more variety and maybe just a, a little more contrast within these warm tones. Now, coming in at number two, this was a little harder than I thought it would be, but number two and number one are pretty close for me, but I decided to place this palette at number two. This is the Tarte Reflections palette. This is the limited edition celebrating 25 years of Tarte. And just look at those shades. Oh my goodness. When I opened up this palette in person, it was even more beautiful than what I had seen online. Now I'll pop up on the screen the swatches and overall what I do appreciate about this palette is she didn't just throw in one purple shade and one blue shade and one green shade. This one has several tones in each of those colors to kind of work together. So there are several versions and different formulations of purples, which I love, along with some nice pinks, so you can work those together or separate. There are also a lot of nice neutral tones, but I feel like overall, the neutrals that she put in here are just slightly different, slightly unique, like this one right here, I think is a beautiful, kind of slightly olive taupe shade gorgeous. The shimmers in here are that kind of more dense formulation that they have put in some of their recent palettes, but I feel like these perform very well. There are a couple of shimmers in here that have more of a topper type formulation, but most of them are like this. They perform well on the lids. The mattes are great. And I just, I love the color variation and the packaging is gorgeous. It has a full size mirror and it retails for $54. So now by process of elimination, if you were paying attention to that thumbnail real closely, number one and my top favorite new palette of the season is the Appley in Love Too Faced palette. The packaging, we've gone back to that wonderful tin, high quality packaging. Thank you, Too Faced. One of my critiques of last year's palette was they had done the cardboard thing. It just felt cheap and it wasn't any cheaper. Now this one also retails for $54 full length mirror. And this one does have a hint of a scent. I think it's supposed to be kind of caramel apple, but it's very faint. I would just say you kind of smell a little bit of a sweet scent initially when you open it up, but just look at the color story. When I opened this up, I thought, yay, Too Faced, you're finally back. I feel like we went through several seasons of just mostly brown palettes and they would pop in one or two colorful shades. This one brings back memories of the pumpkin spice palette from a few years ago. It's been, I feel like since this palette that I have really loved one of their fall edition palettes, but this one is so gorgeous. A couple of the shimmer shades, as you'll see in the swatches, kind of more of that topper formulation, but others are not. And I just feel like the way they did this, the way they did the shimmers, the mattes, they gave us a good amount of mattes to where we don't have to go brown or we don't have to go colorful. We can go neutral, we can go brown, we can go nice and yellow, we can go light, we can go deep and smoky, and we can also go with these fun green tones, which I have to say are a very unique, like almost a springy green type of shade. So now let's create an eye look with this palette. Starting off with the matte cream shade, Sweet On You. And by the way, I have already primed my eyelids. I did do concealer and primer and powder, <laughs> the three-step priming. And I'm just using my Sigma E50. Now with this palette, I have had a lot of fun. Of course, you know how much I love my pinks and purples, 
but I'm gonna, you know, try to branch out, do something a little different. So let's go in first with this caramel apple shade. I mean, we can't not use caramel apple, and I'm gonna use the rougher number 15 brush for that. And I'm gonna put this through the crease. This is a beautiful, it's warm, but it is not too warm. I think it is a great neutral shade. This is something that will work with the green in this palette, with the red, even with the purples. You can really just do a lot of things with this palette. And again, I have done colorful looks. I have done very neutral looks. We'll try and do something maybe kind of in between today. On the outer corner, I'm gonna go in first with this top shade here that is Applesauce. <laughs> I love all the names in here. I appreciate that I think for the most part, they kept all of the names um, appropriate. <laughs> In the past, Too Faced sometimes gets a little crazy with their naming, but I think the names on here are just super cute. Okay, so you can see, I mean, right there, if you are in neutrals during the daytime kind of girl, you could do those two, throw on some mascara and be out the door. So really, really beautiful neutrals in here. But you know me, we got to do something a little extra. Go back and blend as we go. Now for kicks, let's go into Candy Apple. We got to use most of the apple shades if we can, right? Let's have some fun. So this one definitely packs a red punch and I personally love that. Now don't freak out on me. I know some of you are like red eyeshadow. I'm going to show you how you can make this actually work and not make your eyes look irritated because red is beautiful if you have green eyes especially course brown eyes you can wear everything blue eyes this is still going to help enhance but for green eyes reds and reddish purples are just perfect for us so I'm just going to put a little bit of this in the outer corner here and blended towards the center but I'm not going to take this all over the lid and I'm just going to feather a little bit of that towards the center. I love the control that this little brush, this is the number two from Ruffer. It's flat and rounded and it just allows you to just slowly build the color and place it where you want it. Okay, now I've really been torn of whether to do just an all matte look or to throw on some shimmer. And I feel like I need to show you a few more shades in here. So I gotta do some shimmer, right? Some of you, the shimmer fans are like, yes, please. So let's go in, I'm gonna go in with Apple of My Eye, which is this gold one. Now this is one that I don't feel like it really packs too much of a punch, just all on its own. So it is one that you can just put a hint like this will be beautiful going into the holiday season if you want just a tiny little hint of some glow on your lid just a little sparkle this isn't something that's going to really highlight too much texture I feel like this was one a lot of people could use and love Okay, so now we're gonna have a little bit of fun and I'm gonna pop in a little bit of this weight shimmer shade that actually has kind of a dual chrome shift with a little hint of some pink, which I think will look really nice with those reddish tones in the outer corner. I'm gonna wet my brush. So I've loaded up both sides with the shadow and now I'm just going to gently, very lightly tap over that gold shade and then 
I will go back to my palette while that is still a little damp on the lid and go back to the gold shade we used here and just tap a little bit of that on. And so it just brings another little shift and little added bit of shine as we turn our head and there we go. Okay. I'm going to go back with the flat brush and a little more of this reddish shade here and just lightly tap the edge, flip that brush over and go in with this brown shade and a combination. Let's do that and a little bit of this shade right here. And just going to tap the edge so it's not completely covering up the shimmer there. It's just making a nice gradation as we go out to the outer corner. All right, we need to add some liner. I'm going to use just Dalton Cocoa Liner on the upper lash line. I'm going to use this about, I'm going to start halfway across and keep this pretty close to my lash line. And slowly just work in towards the inner corner and I'm going just right into the roots of my lashes. I'll just run a little bit of that along the lower lash line here outer corner. Taking the Sigma E15, I'm going to go in with a little combination of the red and this darker shade. And we're just going to go right on top of that liner just to soften it because I didn't want to have to be real precise with my application. This just helps kind of blur the edge of it a little bit. And then I'm going to go in with this shade right here as I go in from the halfway point towards the inner corner. On the lower lash line, we'll go in with this shade right here on the outer corner, right over that liner, and just blend that slightly. Now, if you are brave enough, you can take a little bit of the candy apple shade on that brush and just go right here, kind of as almost just a haze. And again, if you have green eyes, a little hint of reddish brown down here will just really amazingly bring out the color of your eyes. All right, inner corner highlight. Gonna go back to this shade right here and mix it with, we'll mix it with a little bit of this shade. And then something I sometimes like to do with more shimmery shades is go in with the matte shade on the Sigma E30. And when you go over it just lightly, it just, helps blend it all out and adds just a little more brightness and smoothness, but yet the glow is still coming through. Okay, I'm going to add some mascara and I'll come back for the finished look. All right, so here is the finished look. And not only did I add mascara, but I also had to powder and I added a little more blush and I slightly changed out my, my lip color. I just added in a little of the Ravi Beauty shade in Rose because I felt like we needed a little bit kind of of that reddish tone to tie in what we have going on in the eyes. Gracie has also <laughs> joined us here. We're having our cable service or our internet service changed out right now. So she's been a little barky vent now right now but I hope that you enjoyed this video that it was helpful for you if you have been eyeing any of these palettes hopefully I gave you enough information to choose which one might be right for you as always check the description box down below click where it says more over here and then hit more again and you'll see a list of everything including the brushes also what's on my nails where my earrings are from all that good stuff and I'll see you next time bye